Hello everybody, Richard here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my YouTube channel all about my adventures as I learn landscape and outdoor photography, but also I do the odd video on editing workflows, Lightroom, things like that. And that is a video that I have for you today. And today what I'm gonna show you is a little thing that I've started doing regularly. I think the feature's always been there, but I didn't really know it was there, or I didn't even think you could do this kind of thing. But what I'm gonna do now is show you how you can get your edited JPEG file, your edited RAW files, back into the Lightroom catalog, eco structure, eco system, um, with a click of a couple of buttons. Okay, so rather than having to export them and import them again, with a quick preset, you can click a couple of buttons, get them saved out, and automatically they'll come straight back into your Lightroom catalog. And to do that, obviously, we need to jump into the computer. So let's take a look at Lightroom right now. So before we do though, go into Lightroom, let me show you the folder structure I use. So I have my event here, which is a, uh, just a location that I went to locally. Um, and I have three folders. I have one for originals, which is where all I, I keep all my original raw files. I have one for where I wanna put my final JPEG edits, which is empty at the moment. And then I have one for social where I might save them at different aspect ratios or different, um, different file sizes, things like that, which we're not gonna look at really today. We are concentrating on this folder here called final JPEG edits. So quickly going back into Lightroom, here, here is my folder that I'm working on and here are my all the photos that I took while I was there and using the flagged option, I've narrowed it down to these eight, which are all edited and I'm happy with them and I'm ready to send them out as JPEGs. You can still see that they are all in raw format at the moment. So down here we have the name of the venue that I went or the location that I went to and we have the folder called originals. So all you have to do is, right, before I go on, I am assuming that you know how to set up presets in Lightroom. If you don't know how to create a preset, an export preset, not an editing preset, an export preset in Lightroom, there's a link up here or down below that will take you to a video that shows you how to set up presets. But I'm assuming that you know how to do that because I wanted to make this as quickly as possible. So highlight, Command A or Control A, highlight all the images. We're gonna go to File and to Export. And these are all my um, pre my export presets that I have down the left hand side. And I have one set up for final JPEG edits. I'm not gonna to touch any of these other options here because they are all personal preference and I cover them a little bit in the, um, in the other video that I was talking about. It's just this export location we're gonna talk about. We want to make sure this folder, this drop down box at the top is set up to choose folder later. The reason for that is every shoot you do, you're gonna probably wanna export the JPEGs to a different location every time. So you don't want them to keep going to the same location. You wanna be able to choose that one location where they're gonna to save to on your hard drive. And this is the clever bit here, this button here, add to catalog. If that is ticked, what happens is once you've clicked on export and you've chosen your folder, <coughs> Lightroom will automatically then bring those photos straight back into the catalog and I'll show you how that works right now. So all I have to do now is choose my export folder, which is the one that I mentioned earlier. Go to library, I I've navigate to where I'm saving them to and this is the same folder structure as before. I wanna go into final JPEG edits and where it says originals in this bottom left-hand corner, I'm gonna highlight that in a bit more detail in a second, but have a look down there and you'll see Lightroom do its thing. So we click on open, and if you see down here, it was what? You can see at the top they're exporting, but if you see down here under originals, there, we've got final JPEG edits. So Lightroom has automatically sent those images out to my hard drive and they're bringing them back in again now as the JPEG format, and they will be in the file size that I requested, which on this occasion, I've asked for a 2000 pixel long edge. And there we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, try and there we go, eight. Oh, is there someone at my front door? Back in a second. Hi. Hi. Lovely, thank you. Bye. Typical postman comes when I'm recording, anyway. So back to the um, computer real quick. Okay, so now we've got the eight images back in as JPEG with the longest edge of 2000, all automatic, all without having to re-import them. So in my Lightroom catalog, if I go to, if I go to the event name 
and look at all the images you can see there are now 16 here which is the raw JPEG, raw JPEG, some are TIFF because they went through Photoshop. But you get the point, with a click of a button, once that preset is set up, then you can use it every time. So if you do another location, you go to another um, shoot, you go to another location or another event or whatever it is you shoot, another portrait session, the only thing you need to do is make sure that top drop down box is, says choose folder, and then you can just navigate to the folder for that event or for that location and they will automatically export and come back in again to your Lightroom catalog. One of the things I find this really useful for is sending photos to my um, portfolio, which I use Adobe Portfolio for. And it just means that it's the JPEG that syncs through to my portfolio, not a raw file with edits on the raw file, because sometimes they don't always sync through, all the edits don't always sync through. So I am gonna do a video about Adobe portfolio, but I think it is gonna be quite a long one and I don't wanna rush it. So if you wanna see that, why don't you subscribe to the channel? And if you like this video, click the uh, thumbs up button, click the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more on location videos and more Lightroom tips and tricks. So thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.